We have Rebecca on the line. Good morning, Rebecca. Rebecca, can you hear us? Yes, ma'am. Good morning. How you how you all doing? We're good. What is what is the dream that you keep having that has you wanting I'm to I'm gonna ask? name all of them and let y'all talk about it. They're a crazy dream. Okay. Well, they all seem crazy sometimes. <laughs> I, I and these are dreams that I used to have when I was a little girl coming up and and, and, I, and I'm you know. So the first one I'm gonna name oh it's just four of them and leave them go from there. The first one is when your you think your car's being stolen. That's number one and the and the second one is all your teeth are actually falling out of your mouth. And the third one is something oh, chasing me, all of it is chasing me. Something's chasing you? Okay. Let, let's, is, I'm let's, just falling, but I always wake up before I get caught. The bottom. Uh, before something chases me or catches yeah. me. All right. Uh, here's what we're going to do. We're going to back up and take one dream at a time. Okay. okay. So tell me which which dream is the one that you're most curious about. And let's, let's focus all on that one. All of them. Every all, one of them. All of them. <laughs> <laughs> but, but we got to break it down so we can interpret it for you. So give me one that you think is, is like the most weird or the most that you want to oh, know about. Oh, the, the falling off. Well, really, the weirdest one that I really, really have had is going, you know, traveling, I get lost, and I get back on the freeway, and I'm going to, it's a tall, it's a freeway, and it's like it's no exit to get back off of that thing. It's like I'm going up, 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 up. Are you, you talking know? about, like, normal Houston traffic, or are you just, uh, no, 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 no. I'm on that by myself. <laughs> I'm on that freeway by myself. Yeah. Okay, we're going to pause right there. She's on the freeway by herself. This it's, is a yeah. great one. And in, in a certain way, it encompasses all your other dreams. And you, you ultimately realize that when the unconscious, who you really are, is trying to reach you, it uses the language of symbols. And the language of symbols, of course, are dreams. And when, and, and they're always, the unconscious is always trying to have that conversation, knocking on that door. But we're always busy with life, so we don't answer that, that door. But your mm -hmm. dream is telling you that you're under a lot of pressure oh. and the freeway is the journey of life. It's your journey and oh, you're alone wow. on that freeway. So you're you're the only one on that journey. It's your journey. And, and if, if you just get back to your little car dream, the car would be how you're dealing with all of this emotionally. And so oh, I would say to you that you're under a lot of pressure for one reason oh. or another and you're, you, you're feeling out of control. Your journey is out, you feel out of control. The good news is that you're alone on that freeway and you're doing the driving. So that yeah. tells you that you are coming towards a, a resolution for something that's- And you are in control if you're yes, driving, right? right? That you're in control of your journey, though you feel out of control uh, in terms of the outcome, but you're driving the car tells you you're making a resolution. All right, Rebecca, thank you. All right, let's go to Robert. Good morning, Robert. Uh, yes, uh, this is, hello. Hello, we can hear you. Yes, my name is Robert and uh, Leggins, and I um, had a dream. I'm 85 years old now, and I'm still trying to figure out what what this dream was all about and uh, I, uh, what I what the dream was about is I was I lived alone at this particular time I was younger and uh, I went to bed that particular night and that that night I was just completely asleep and I could see somebody I was dreaming I, I could see somebody coming there was a door there was a door where I came to there, uh, I could see somebody coming through that door, and I was scared. I started yelling. I could feel myself yelling. I could feel myself yelling. Mm -hmm. And I, then I could feel myself floating around or trying to get up. And when I tried to get up, I couldn't, I couldn't but I could feel myself. And then all at once I see myself floating in the air. And then I woke up. Wow. Okay, hold so on. Wonderful dream, wonderful dream, and it does have a numinous quality. Okay. So, you know, when, when we dream of walking through a doorway, <clears throat> or remember, you're every character in your dream. So when someone turns up in your dream and they walk through a doorway, and in a sense, you're, you're terrified and paralyzed, 
you're shifting states of consciousness. You're unconscious just by walking through that, the crossing the threshold mm -hmm. from one space to another is changing the states of your consciousness, elevating you, actually. And the fear is promoting you, it's pushing you forward. And though you were paralyzed and you couldn't move and you were in terror, what did you do? You floated. And at the end of the day, um, most people that have expanded consciousness experiences begin in the exact format that you've talked about in your dream. So that was a numinous quality. Some people would call it an out-of-body experience. Mm. But it was in your dream, but your inner dream is a reference to what's happening in the outer world. First it happens here, and then it happens there. So this is really a very special dream. And it tells you that you have, though you don't think you've been doing work on yourself, the way you've lived your life, the way you feel about people and yourself is being just, it's pushing you into an elevated state. So this is wonderful mm. and uh, you could call it an out-of-body experience. Okay. Um, I want to uh, back up on a dream you know, in a second here. Uh, numbers are important as well. So very important. So called and said that she was having dreams about four past relatives. Yes, and I wanted to come back to that because, again, m so many dreams are collectively organized when we do the work. And so when you have the dream of four of anything, you're talking about a quaternity. So it talks about coming to wholeness. So in her dream, there is something, but it's to be resolved. Mm -hmm. And I think those four people represent, have, represent yeah. what, where she's going with that. The key to her dream has to do with those four people.